Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue on uh, where we left off in the last episode, uh, working on the kitchen. A couple of comments that I got. Uh, one of you guys told me in the comments that when we do the upgrade uh, to the next version of Undead Legacy, we will have to put batteries in the lantern, so that's good to know, and it might mean that we'll change up of the lighting in here and use the fluorescent lights in here, too. We'll see. Uh, makes sense, though. Uh, it's the way it probably should be. So, yeah. Uh, you also, one of you also reminded me that you can hold E on these lights, go here, and you can actually adjust the brightness of the lights. I don't, I don't know if I knew that or not. <laughs> so, if I did, I forgot it. So, anyway, appreciate you letting me know that for sure. Um, so, but I still think, well, you know, I guess we could go back to trying these lights and see if we can get them bright enough. Um, but let's, uh, let's worry about that later. Cause I want to, I want to keep going on, you know, getting the, getting the build, uh, all of this, you know, wiring and stuff that, that I experimented with in the last episode, that's not going to stay there, but I don't want to spend time on this episode continuing to work on lighting. So we'll get, we'll get back to that later. I want to keep going with the with the build and the setup and all that sort of thing. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, first order business here in the kitchen is we want to remove all of the busted cupboards and then replace them with working cupboards. Uh, same thing with the refrigerator. So let's grab our, uh, we want to take that refrigerator apart because we'll get some parts for it. And so I have my, um, should have this in here. Yep. We'll grab that and then we'll move the other refrigerators over here okay so we have we have two refrigerators um but I think what I would like to do is just use the storage that's already in here y you know there's not going to, we're not going to get a lot of space out of it, but we have a lot of storage. So, yeah, so we got wall ovens over there. We got the stove there. All right, so let's see to, what do we need to, to do these cupboards? I think we just need a block, like a furniture block or something like that. And uh, let's look on the workbench. Well, actually here, no, let's not look on the workbench first. Let's just do this. So let's do cup. Cupboard. Oh, okay, not cupboard. How about furniture? Wood furniture. Yeah, that's the one we need. Uh, oh, yeah, and we can craft in the carpenter's table. Okay, so we got everything we need to do that. Let's put in furniture. Uh, craft. I, I'm just going to make one to start with to see what, what we actually get, uh, what the options are. First of all, and then once I see that, then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's put this here. And then we'll go back into the kitchen. And we want to get rid of this. And then if we go into here, we've got all of these options. Cabinet. So none of these though are matching these cabinets with the like the dark marble top. Is it possible to? Uh, tell it to match the the block. The problem though is there isn't. No, sorry, not that. Um, on face auto rotate. No, it's not giving me the option to match that block. Hmm. So how do we get these mar black marble topped cupboards? Because I want to. I like them. And that's the ones that I want to use. Unless, unless we decide to go with the the red cabinets instead. Cabinet open. How many slots does this have? Oh, that doesn't even have anything, any cabinets to open. 
Oh, there's a cupboard. Oh, it's the uh, cabinets and cupboards. Do we use this one and paint it? Is that how that works? Except for that that one's got an open door, too. Why does that one have an open door? It shouldn't. Hmm. Okay, well, let's, let's do this, then. Let's go into the creative menu. And let's type in cabinet. So I suppose cabinets and cupboards. Isn't that what we have here, though? Oh, no, that's wood furniture. Oh, okay. Okay, hold on a sec. If we go here... No, that's the same shit that we just made. <laughs> How do we get that? Cabinet filler, no loot, cupboard. That means it's supposed to go up above, I believe. Um. All right, let's go back into here for a minute. What if we put... Okay, furniture. So there's wood furniture and cabinets and cupboards. They're not exactly the same. But they're close. So this gives us all of this shit. And this gives us all of this stuff. Which it's looks like it's the same stuff. It's just in a different arrangement. That is weird, man. Okay, that's a red cabinet open this gives me an open cabinet even though it sh doesn't show that <laughs> so my guess my guess is that this these are just cabinets that are painted so how do I get one that is here uh go back to here for a second all the damn things are open man Okay, so then maybe what we do is we do this one and we paint it. Because this is, we can open it and it does have space in there. All right, so now can we do a texture picker? Ah, there we go. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So, okay, so that's the one we pulled out of the creative menu. So let's throw this one away uh, because we, so you know, to pay for it essentially, right? And then we're going to need to make one, two, three, four, five more of those. Okay, so let's make five more of those. Oh, man. Glue. Are we really out of glue? We must be out of glue. I'm sure we have the means to make some more glue, though. Uh, so let's go over here to the chemistry station. And we're going to want resin and murky water in a plastic bottle. Uh, murky water in a plastic bottle. We do not have any of that. Oh, actually, hold on. Yes, we do. In fact, we need all. We need to get all of this, anyways. I'm gonna see if I can make this work to my satisfaction with one refrigerator in here. And if we can't, then we'll we'll figure something else out. There we go. Okay. Now, let's make some glue. 26. Yeah, you know what? We probably need to make all of those. And you want some firewood, don't you? Where's that? That's going to be in 
Hey, the wood bin. What do you know? It's funny how that works. Uh, let's grab some firewood here. Actually, let's use fuel bricks. The chemistry station tends to have the longest burning stuff, so I like to use fuel, fuel bricks for that. Okay, resin. I know we have a bunch of that in here. It's probably just can't reach it. So let's just grab some of that. And there we go. Okay. Nope, that doesn't go in there. Okay, so what we'll do is let's break out the other cupboards while we're waiting for that stuff to cook up. Uh, this is all screwed up too, so let's get rid of it. Okay. Head back over here, grab whatever glue we currently have, which isn't much. I guess that takes a while, doesn't it? Seems like it takes a lot longer than it would in vanilla. So let's wait for a fourth one, and then we can get, I think, two... Yeah, there we go. I think we should, we should be able to get two of these going. Ten? Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. How many did I say we needed? We need one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's put um, those back in there. And the glue goes in there as well. And we'll put those cabinets in place when they're finished. And then paint them up. Okay, good. So that fixes all of the cabinets. Let's run back over here and grab our campfire. Oh, we got some food in there. Nice. And we'll put that on top of the stove. Just like so. And then we'll put all that stuff back in there. That can go in there. Let's put the food in here, and we will keep a beverage in here. Yeah, we should actually, we'll probably be able to make this work. Because, yeah, beverage can go in there, food can go in there, and wine can go in there, even though we don't actually have any wine. We'll just pretend like we do. Go over to this other refrigerator here, pull all of that out of there. Take it, oh, really? How did that make us head? Oh, it's all the meat. Dang, man. Um, I didn't realize that stuff was so damned heavy. What? Do we <laughs> I can't move. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to throw some of it out on the ground, just enough to move. And then all of our other food. You know what? We don't need to keep canned food in here. Why don't... Let's make this our canned food cupboard. That'll definitely make this work uh, much easier. Um. Okay, so looks like that gets all of the food in here. Let's just go grab the rest of the meat. Yeah, we want that. Wait, we want that on broadcast. There we go. 
And this too, for that matter. Oh, we can't broadcast from here. Uh, okay, we'll have to just remember that then. Hmm. You know what we could do is we could put a normal storage bin up here and then paint it to look like the cupboard. Except for it's a half block. What's on the other side of that? Just the wall. Yeah, that... Yeah. If we could get the other side of the storage to look like this... Oh, did I... I didn't even upgrade that frame. <laughs> There's several frames. Oh, it's all the ones I, that are below the... These storage chests because I moved them up. That's what what's going on there. Okay, so let's see. Copy rotation. That back in there. Uh, well, here, no, don't do that because if we want to upgrade them, we're going to have to repaint them anyways. So it's just those. Okay. All right, now they're upgraded. Okay, so let's see. What is the next order of business? We want to uh, remove... Here we go. These lights. And we want to put in the working lights. Okay, so that's done. And uh, do I have a microwave oven? And if I did, it would be in here. We got a medicine cat. Oh, we got a commercial coffee maker. Let's grab that. Another beverage cooler. No, so we'll have to be. Oh, we got a soda fountain. We'll have to be on the lookout for a microwave that we can loot pick up and bring in here so we have a microwave in the kitchen because you know kitchens need to have microwaves right uh coffee maker where do we want to put the coffee maker this needs to be upgraded and i don't is that shelf no that's not a an actual storage storage a bowl shelf I can live with this floor, but I don't know if I like this grungy tile look. So let's go here and see if there's something a little bit better. So I think this is what it's currently set to. Uh, carpet. Black granite. That's what the cabinets are, so I don't think we want to use that again. Hill case side. Um, yeah, we just, you know, we have the same old problem that we always have. We just have shit textures to choose from. Nothing looks good. Uh, what's that? Fabric? Oh, yeah, that's what we used on the walls in there. We already have wood, you know, this kind of wood texture up here, which I like, so we want to keep it that way. Um, well, all right, I'll tell you what. Let's let's just keep it this way for now. Um, and if I'm inspired by something better later, which that doesn't inspire me. <laughs> We'll go, we'll, we'll try something new later. But for now, I guess we'll just go with that. Okay, so anything else we need to do in our kitchen aside from the lights? we got to do the lights, of course. Uh, but I don't think so. Let's, um, do we want to change to this nicer looking white in here too from this grunge? I think we do. How much paint do I have? 29. Probably don't have enough paint to pull that off. But we can get started. Anyway, uh, so let's do texture picker. And 
See, that just looks so much nicer. Okay, so we'll get that wall done at least. And same thing here. That's just using one at a time, which is good. All right, texture pick that. You know, we might actually now think about it. Um, we might have a new crop of goldenrod up above. Uh, is that trim a separate... Oh, it is. Okay, I thought the whole thing would paint together, but I guess it doesn't. How about that? There. Okay, we have two things of paint left. And we still got to do all that stuff up above there <clears throat> as well. Okay, so uh, aside from the painting and the lighting, I think um, I think that's at least gets us started with the kitchen. This might, you know, this might not be the absolute final configuration in here, but it's now functional. We got all kinds of storage, you know, if we if we just utilize these cabinets. Most important thing is that we got our food in here and our beverage in here and our canned food up here. Um, we do have some things in here that I want to move to the kitchen. Uh, so all of these jars and containers, uh, the mineral water can stay there because that's actually, well, no, I want the mineral water here because this is chem materials and that is what that is for. Anything else in here I want to put in the kitchen? Uh, yeah, that and that for sure. And animal fat's kind of a, one of those multi-purpose items. And then I think everything else that's currently in here can stay in there for the moment. All the ammo and gunpowder will be moved to the armory when, you know, when we put that together. Okay, um, let's put you there. I was going to do that before, but... Um, actually, you know what, though? On second thought, I want to put you here. And we'll put the microwave when we get a new one on top of this cabinet instead of in the window. So. Okay, so this will be for canned food. This is going to be empty containers. Jars in particular and cans. Okay, um, so that's canned food. That's empty containers. We could put uh, dried goods in here, I suppose. So that would include, you know, coffee beans and cornmeal, that sort of thing. Uh, let's just put the fat in here because in the real world, that would spoil. And while we're in here, let's actually take a hobo stew because we could use some. And aside from, you know, getting more paint, I think we're good to go. Well, let's actually run up here and see if we have another crop of goldenrod to harvest. We do. In fact, every, we can harvest everything. So let's just do that now. That's the quick way into the kitchen that stuff in there um, so we have just this little bit of goldenrod here let's go back <clears throat> excuse me back over to here and for paint we need all of that stuff so we need chrysanthemum here let's just pin it uh, pin and you need some more burn time don't you <clears throat> okay so chrysanthemum I think is going to be in there in here farming crate uh, we have a little bit more golden rod in there too we're gonna have resin and grass in here and oil where is oil kim products or mechanical yeah, it's in mechanical. Okay. 
And then we need cans and murky water in jars, not in plastic bottles. Uh, so we got murky water in jars there. And we have some cans here. Okay, that should be enough for us to make some more paint. How much paint can we make? 2,000. Nice. We'll probably end up using all of that and much more. <laughs> but that ought to keep us in good stead for a little while anyway. Let's put some of this stuff in here. Okay, so yeah, let's just... How much we need for about five more minutes? Okay, we already have enough burn time in there. Okay, cool. Uh, so while we're waiting for the paint, the uh, next thing we want to look at is the is the laboratory. So I like the idea of the shower, but we need to fix it with working glass panes. What kind of options do we have for toilets? Anything that looks better than that, or do they all just look like, well, shit? Uh, sinks and toilets. Let's just pull one of uh, one of those out real quick and see what the options are. All right, so we've got the fancy toilet, the toilet, and the commercial toilet, and they all look terrible. And I think that's the fancy toilet. So yeah, we're just gonna have a dirty, yucky, mucky toilet. There's not much we can do about it. Um, is there a better sink option, or is that pretty much all we got too? <coughs> Excuse me. That's more of a kitchen sink there. Those are drinking fountains. Uh, what about here? Commercial counter sink tiled. What does that actually look like? It looks better than that thing. But it doesn't, we don't have a faucet for it. Yeah, it would go in like that. It kind of has a marble look to it. Oh, that, that's broken. That's got to come out. Okay, and then um, let's go. Whoop. Let's go over here to the workbench. Do we have a faucet option? Is that this block here actually? Yes, it is. How do we get the brass faucet though? I don't know. We'll just use this one for now, I suppose. There we go. Okay, and then for this piece, can we just do something like this? Copy shape and copy rotation. There we go. Okay. All right, so that fixes that up, makes it look a little bit better. Can't do anything about the toilet. As far as the shower goes, uh, what are our glass options? Why can't I click in that? There, that was weird. Glass. Bulletproof glass opaque. All right, let's grab one of these. I think that I think that's it, but what we actually want is Uh, metal window. Oh, okay. Hold on. That's um. That's one we can change the shape on. Okay. 
So go back to here. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Okay, so we want three-sided full there and there and then we want to rotate this like that and like that and then we'll oh no that's going the wrong direction oh you know what though it can't go in there like that because of the shower head okay so to make that work and not look oh crap that's not the one i tried wanted to break Just broke a ball. Um, okay. We want. Uh, let's turn this this way. And then. Turn that. That way. And this has to come... Yeah, well, I missed the rotation. Um, okay, so we want that to go there. There, that looks better. We'll just pretend like this is a door that opens up so we can go into our shower. Okay, let's grab our uh, paint. And is it possible to paint this black marble. Ooh, look at that. All right. We'll take it, man. And then for the shower frame, I'm going to grab, I'm going to texture pick this stuff that we used over in the windowsill. Oh, does it not let us paint that? Oh, nuts. Okay, well, I guess that's going to have to stay as it is. Uh, okay, is there any... Is there a better... All of the tile in this game sucks. <laughs> it does. It's just terrible. Oh, man. Okay, so... We got industrial tile, cabinet old counter tile, tile floor. Yeah, I mean... I guess we're just going to go with what's currently here. Unless I can come up with a a better solution at some point. Get up there to get that. You know what might... No, don't hit that. <clears throat> don't hit that. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be the other kind of tile, so. There we go. Okay, let's grab one more of those. And we want to set it to... Uh, this. And then... Set it. Yeah, we're just going to have to do the little rotate thing again. There we go. Okay, so I think aside from lighting, which we will definitely put a light in here, um, I think that's probably about as, as good as it's going to get for the bathroom. Uh, we can use the cleaner white looking... Uh, texture in there. So let's get the rest of the kitchen painted up here. Uh, all right. Now let's texture pick this. Okay. 
Good. Okay, so yep, yeah, I think that gets our, our kitchen uh, taken care of and looking good. You know what, though? Let's let's also use this in the kitchen rather than this grody-looking uh, drywall stuff. All right. Um... Why don't we... I like it. I think it's uh I think it's good. I think it is good. We need to fix this. There we go. Okay, next um next up is the bedroom and what um yeah, we were going to make this the armory, weren't we? I I've been thinking about this though. We've got like a huge area in here that I don't have any plans for at the moment. I'm almost wondering if we should instead make this the armory, this room in here, and in the bedroom, we could kind of turn this more into like an office area. And we could put in like, um, you know, like the research desk and, and that sort of thing over in this area. So I haven't fully decided if that's what I want to do yet, but I'm kind of kind of leaning in that direction. There isn't a whole lot that we really need to, to do in here. I mean, you know, we got we got to clean up these broken windows. But and. If we're going to keep this kitchen, well, yeah, I don't think we'll keep, I think we'll take all of the kitchen stuff out and turn this into, like I said, an office area. And then we'll use this big room here probably for the armory. So that, that's kind of what's in my, my head right at the moment anyways. So, but uh, guys, I'm going to go ahead and have to wrap up the episode here. Um, so yeah, the plan will be in the next episode. Um... We'll pr let, let's go let's do something different in the next episode because we had a few building episodes back to back now so in the next one maybe we'll just go out and do some looting or something uh, but do something a little bit different and then in the episode after we'll pick up where we left off and continue uh, working on the base here uh, just to keep things uh, you know a little, little variety and not doing the same thing one episode after the next so and by the way let me know your opinions too should I stick with the original plan and turn this little area into the armory? Because, you know, the thing is, is I want to kind of make it almost like a vault, right? And so that doesn't give us a whole lot of room in here if we use this space as the armory. I mean, we could make it work, but we're going to have a lot more space to play with if we use, you know, this area. Um, you know, we could pull this kitchen out. We could even pull all of this crap out and have one big, huge, kind of like vaulted armored room sort of thing. We could put vault doors up and, you know, pretend like it's encased in titanium, something like that. Probably would try and do that by painting it than using actual <laughs> titanium because that could get expensive. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on using this central room as the armory and then using this area over here is as our office you know study research desk area okay um and yeah we could also do you know put our clothing and tailoring over in this area too but you know clothing and armor kind of go together and it would also potentially make sense to put that in here in the armory so, you know, it's one of those things that can go either way. So let me know you guys' opinions. And uh, anyway, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to let you go here. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.